Greetings and good day everyone. No matter where you are and what part of the world you are in, I hope that you are having a good day. So I was introduced to Louise Hayes this AM. Um, she just so happened to be in my feed and I decided to watch her. Um, that's what happens when you're um, growing. You attract people who are on the same level. Um, and have a similar mindset. So these are her 10 rules for success, and I decided to share it, okay? Again, Louise Hayes, and this video that popped up in my feed, hold on a second, let me go back to my history. Um, this is how the universe works, Louise Hayes, top 10 rules for success. So that's the name of the video if you would like to watch it. Okay, first one up on the block. <laughs> Love yourself. I talk about this all the time. Uh, Self-love is the best love. It's the most important love. Because if you don't love yourself, you can't properly love others. And that's just the truth of the matter. We think that we are. But we do things that contradict that. Okay? She also says, and this is only a 10 minute video, so it's very short. Be mindful of your words. What are you saying to others? Whatever you put out into the universe shall be returned unto you. And the oftentimes 10 times. So even if you don't speak those words out loud, if you're thinking that thought in your mind, that counts too. Don't be resentful. This, to me, makes no sense, to, but, you know, everybody does what makes sense to them. But, you know, a lot of times people think, take things personally, or they try to be controlling and manipulative. And if somebody doesn't do what they want, when they want, the way that they want, um, they become resentful. And that's just one reason, um, but it's not necessary. A lot of times it's not even personal. It's best to just let it go, forgive, and move on. And even forgive yourself for feeling that way. Learning how to think successfully. That's very important if you're an entrepreneur. When you provide some type of product or service. Again, you get what you, att you, you, get what you attract. And, you know, if you're thinking about lack, that's what you're going to attract. If you're thinking about success and the, thing, the opportunities that are ahead of you, then that's what you'll get. Help others without expecting anything in return. That's not what it's about. The purpose of life is to find your gift and, and then give it away. And again, giving without expecting anything in return. Because when you give from your heart, it comes back to you ten times. Again, whatever you put out, you get back. Be calm. A lot of times people get upset and it's not even necessary. It's not necessary. Do affirmations. Lift yourself up each day. Even if that affirmation is just thank you. Even if that information is just I love you. I love myself. Affirm every day. Build your own confidence up. You don't need anyone outside of yourself to do anything for you. We, we become codependent um, or we, we form trauma bonds a lot of times. And, and this is not a diagnosis, it is an observation though. And we think we need somebody, especially you know certain personality types. They feel like they need, you know, but it's really not true. You can spend time with yourself and it's okay because sometimes when you spend time with yourself, you learn things and you grow. The only person you need is you. You don't need anyone or anything outside of yourself in order to be perfect, whole, and complete just the way that you are. Keep working on yourself. This is daily work that has to be done for the rest of your life. Be thankful every day. You have something to be thankful and grateful for. Every day. 
say at least three to five things every day. I'm grateful that I have shoes. I'm grateful that I have a roof over my head. I'm grateful that I have clean water to drink. Excuse me. I'm thankful that I have the, the, I have, um, the confidence that I need to keep going, even when it's really, really challenging. And I'm thankful that I'm connecting with people who have a similar mindset. Believe that only good lies ahead. Again, be optimistic. The glass is always half full. Okay? In addition to that, I would add um, to number three, don't be resentful, judgmental, critical, envious, jealous, manipulative, or a user. If you want something from somebody, just be honest. Don't beat around the bush and be passive aggressive. Say what you mean and mean what you say. For example, if you have a friend and you want a recipe, don't call that friend and say, oh, hey, girl or guy, I just called to say how you was doing and have all of this petty small talk knowing that you just called for a recipe. Just call and say, hey friend, I just called so I could get your so-and-so and such and such recipe. That's not being rude, that's being honest. And you don't have to say it in the same tone that I said it in, but again, say what you mean and mean what you say. Don't beat around the bush with it. People don't like when you're dishonest. It makes, you feel, it makes them feel like you're using them. And nobody wants to be used. People will be more than, willing to help you sometimes a lot of times if you're just honest about what you want it's really simple form the words to ask for what you want period and you're nobody's better than anybody else i know some people think that they are but we all bleed the same color blood we all going in the same ground when we live here no status no title um no uh, material things are going with you. We are all one. And we come from the same source. I would also add, <clears throat> do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So if you want motivation and support, then motivate and support others in the same way you wish to receive it. Which is easy if we let go of judgment. And that's just my two cents. I thank you for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Later.